Lady on here, bless Karen Greaves. Karen, how old are you in that picture? Oh, gosh, probably about ten. Oh, you're you're blushing, you're blushing slightly. <laughs> you're cute. It looks lovely. Anyway, we won't embarrass you anymore. Last week we were talking about detox, and this week we're talking about head-to-toe body cleansing, aren't we? We are. We're going from the... Hair right down to your feet. Is that on you? Have you heard? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you can end up spending a lot of money this time of year, can't you? On treatments and you, you know, and stuff for the face and body. And the thing that you're saying tonight is, it's all in the house. It's actually. in the kitchen. It's all in the home. Yeah. It's in the kitchen. Starting with hair rinses. Once you've washed your hair, uh, instead of just rinsing it with water, rinse it with herbs. Herbs that are in the shampoos and in the conditioners anyway. Because especially, everyone knows if you've been overindulging, I mean, your skin and your hair are the first things mm -hmm. to show, yeah. uh, you know, your excess, if you like, over Christmas and New Year. So how do we do this then? Because all these ingredients are in our shampoos and conditioners. We do uh -huh. see rosemary, we see all these things yep. in there. What do we do? What you do is take about a teaspoonful of your dried herbs, of each of them. I'm using rosemary and thyme here because they're really good for dark hair. Okay. Not about natural redheads like me. Oh, well, you would. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I think you could get away with chamomile, which is for chamomile, lighter hair. Okay, okay, okay. And then pour in boiling water and then leave that to steep for about 20 minutes and let it cool. Okay. And then the most important thing is strain it. Okay, just when you, you just kitchen strain it. Just go. a kitchen strain it because if you pour that over your head with all the wee bits <laughs> of herbs, you will be picking them out for weeks. I can Lovely. Assure you. Not a so good just, look. No. And this will make it all what, lovely and shiny? That will c condition your hair, make it shiny and soft. And it's also antibacterial as well, so it's good for your scalp. Lovely. And sage is really good because that uh, helps for grey hair. Oh, but why does it help for grey hair? Does it, does it... it darkens the hair naturally. It's been used for hundreds of years. <laughs> I'm cooking sausages tonight. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next. Next, we're doing your face. Um, you get all sorts of um, scrubs and cleansers nowadays, mm -hmm. and this is a really natural one you can make in the kitchen. And we're using sage, which has just disappeared. <laughs> you have to give it back, Stephen. You'll get it at the end of the show. Oh, Sorry about that. My sage. <laughs> sage, because sage is um, antibacterial and it's a natural astringent. And we're using chamomile. Now, you can use normal dry chamomile if you've got that, or use chamomile tea bags and just empty that in. Okay. It's Lovely. exactly the same thing. Mix that with the sugar. And then you would take a handful of your sugar and you will mix that with some water on a wet face and rub that into your skin. The sugar will dissolve so it's a natural exfoliant. Mm -hmm. And the chamomile softens and it cleanses so all the dead skin, anything all left over from a nasty cold, that'll all take that off. That'll all come off. All right, lovely. Okay, what have you got next? Next, it's a scrub for the body for all over. Mm -hmm. So you want to use rock salt, which is just this really chunky salt that you can get in any supermarket. So you need that first. And then some oil. Now, I'm using rapeseed oil here. You can use any oil, olive oil, anything. You don't need to go for anything fancy. You're going to just put in about a spoonful of oil into there. And then you're going to add in some rosemary. Because rosemary, again, is an astringent. It's a cleanser. And it's a really uplifting herb. It's got real zest to it. So it's great in the bath and the shower. And then give this a really good shake. Mm -hmm. and mix it all up. And then what you'll do with that is you'll take a handful of that and scrub yourself all over with it in the shower. Mm -hmm. So in the shower you do that? In the shower, but be really careful because the oil will make the floor slippery. OK, you might need someone to help you with that, Michelle. Possibly. Yeah, don't worry, they're queuing up. I'll get one of them, it's fine. Okay. Help me in the shower and my oil, that's fine. Right, moving on. Moving on. on. We've gone from top to toe, no really, here, haven't we? Yeah. This is it. This is for your footsies, who've had a hard time at oh, all those sales and everything. Love a good steep of the feet. I'm telling right. you, it's the best thing at the end of the okay. day. So what again, marbles? Is this to, just to massage your feet when they're this in? This is indeed, oh, yeah. So, so start with marbles. Okay. And then you'll have some boiling water, because you're going to leave it to cool down. So doesn't that look lovely already? And then you're going to add in a good handful of your Epsom salts. Yep. Epsom salts. Now, remind us again the benefits of Epsom salts. Epsom salts boost the circulation, so that gets your blood flow going and everything. And of course, and it softens as well. It's mm -hmm. fabulous stuff. And then your rock salt again, and you're going to let all that just. You have to have very in. small feet to fit in there, Karen. I've got to say. Well, I've also got to bring a great big. Okay. <laughs> right. Imagine yeah. it's a really big bowl. All no, right. Okay. Or imagine you have very dainty little right, okay. feet. Kelly, our floor manager, she could fit in there easily, yep. couldn't she? In fact, she could put my bath in there. To Aww, be fair. Oh, right? poor <laughs> Kelly. Okay. And you're putting in a couple of drops of lavender oil. Mm -hmm. yep. Lavender, again, natural cleanser and deodorizer, antibacterial, and a couple of drops of peppermint. 
The peppermint is it, it cools at your feet down, doesn't cools it? Cools them down. It's yep, nice. and it's soothing. Do you know it that's so much nicer? One. My local shopping centre the other day, I saw they have these, you know, these tanks with the little fish in them now, oh, yeah. and you sit there and the fish nibble your feet and take away the. I want to try so that. I think that's a nicer idea, though, don't you? It yeah. looks nicer as well. But the marbles would be nice just to. And you just run your feet backwards and forwards, and you're nice. massaging all the muscles and the tenseness and everything. Better Good. than a foot massage. You've Absolutely. saved us a fortune tonight, Can Grieve. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Karen. As always, and the details of everything Can's done on the show, as always, on the website stv.tv forward slash the hour. Now, coming up, 